Hi YouTube, I'm Tom and this is my little helper for today, my granddaughter Lily. Hi. Today we're going to talk about, what is this Lily? A hummingbird feeder, feeder shade. Right, a hummingbird feeder shade. We're going to show you a DIY project, simple build, how to build a hummingbird feeder shade. For this project, you're going to need a frisbee. Right. We chose the color red because red seems to attract hummingbirds. Um, this just happened to be the store I got mine from. I bought six because we have six hummingbird feeders. Uh, you're going to need a few pieces of hardware. You remember that one, Lily? An eyeball. An eyeball, right. You're going to need two eye bolts. This is a quarter inch by two inches long from top to bottom. They come, these came with nuts. Okay, you'll need two of those. Do you remember these? Washers. Right, a washer. This is a quarter inch by one inch fender washer. You'll need and two a, of those. And a coupler. Right. This is a quarter inch threaded coupler. All the hardware I got at my local box store. Um, a few tools you might need. A drill. With a quarter inch bit. A pair of channel locks, pliers, adjustable wrench will do. And a screwdriver. Right. And a uh, Piece of wood. Piece of wood. Just a, any old piece of wood. Doesn't matter. And of course, some safety glasses. Okay. First, we're going to move our hardware out of the way. On a frisbee, when you get it, right in the middle, it's going to be a little circle, a dimple. It's generally where the frisbee releases from the mold, but it's dead center. That's a great guide. To where you need to drill your mark. This one had a little sticker on it, peeled the sticker off, scrubbed it up, did it good. So your first deal you need to do is drill a quarter inch hole through the center. Alright, put your safety glasses on and go ahead Lily, give that a squeeze. Wow. Oh, it went right through, didn't it? Doesn't take much, but that is definitely why you use that little spare block of wood. All right. Then we're going to work from the bottom to the top. You're going to take one of your eye bolts and nuts. You're going to spin your nut all the way towards the eye. Until it's hand tight. You're going to take your fender washer, you're going to put it on, you're going to slide it through. There might be a little bit of plastic that built up, you want to clean that away. Take another fender washer, put it on top, and then you're going to take your coupler and screw it down. Okay, now we have everything in place, the coupler and washer on top, the eye bolt, nut, and washer on the bottom. You're going to take your channel locks or your pliers, or you're going to wrench if you have the right size wrench. You're going to grab it from this side, hold the coupler, and take your screwdriver, stick it in the eye bolt hole and turn it clockwise. Just snug it up. Does not need to be crazy tight. We're going to take our other eyeball. We're going to remove the, the nut because it's not needed. We're going to thread the eyeball into the coupler until it's pretty snug, we're going to do, once again, grab the coupler with uh, your channel locks or your pliers, 
we're going to put our screwdriver in the eye of the eyeball and just snug it up. Turn it clockwise. And that's it. We've made our hummingbird feeder shade. It hangs very easily. It protects it from the, the, uh, the day sun and protects it from light rain. But you can easily make this project. We hope you liked our video. Lily did a great job helping. And uh, give us a like and keep an eye out for more videos to come.